morning, guys. It is about 5.30 in the morning, and I'm up. <laughs> it's time to get ready for hair and makeup. Slept okay. A little bit weird because I woke up in the middle of the night, oh, about an hour ago. I woke up at like 4.30, kind of like confused. Like the first time I, like, I opened my eyes, I was like, where am I? And then I realized that I was here, not home. That was at 4.30, which was which would put me at 6.30 our time. And that's the time we've been waking up normally. And my body just woke up. And I was like, uh-uh, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. So I kind of forced myself to go back to sleep. It took me a while, but I woke up an hour later. I'm just going to make some coffee and walk over to the makeup room. So let's go. Shoot day one. A few moments later. All right, the lighting in here sucks, but... The makeup looks absolutely beautiful. Lindsay always does a fantastic job. I'll put their Instagram here so you guys can follow them. I love it. And they're just so nice to see them again. They're just such nice people. Boise is so nice. Now, I have a lot of time. I have like an hour until we leave. I'm going to go downstairs. I think breakfast is being served in the lobby. So I'm going to take a look. I'm not really that hungry, but I'll just like take a look, see what's, what's happening. And yeah, and then I'll just get packed up and get ready to go. So I'll see who that highlight is everywhere. Highlight of the gods. Just got back to the room and you can see the makeup a little bit better here. I absolutely love it. It's gonna look so good in the pictures. <laughs> so bronzy and glowy and you know. <laughs> Went downstairs to check out the breakfast and Rochelle, who's getting her makeup done now, came up with like um, hard boiled eggs and that's what I was probably gonna get if I got anything, but they didn't have any. But they have a bunch of fruit that I really wanted, but I'm on low carbs today. Oh, I haven't mentioned that I started my program with Lane. We're carb cycling this week. I don't know if it's going to go on to next week. Carbs are relatively high, which is good. And yeah, I'll go more in depth in another video about that. But I did want to say one thing. I'm going to sit down for this one. It feels really nice to not be so worried about how I feel. Let me explain. You guys know that I was trying to like not cut, but like not be bloated for this photo shoot. And typically in the past, I'd either do a detox or starve myself or I mean that's pretty much the only two things that you can do uh, to try and look good for a photo shoot and I'd be constantly worried about what I'm looking like or what I'm gonna look like or what I'm gonna be wearing am I gonna be looking okay like who's gonna be there that's gonna look better than me and this time it's been so different and I actually really really love that don't get me wrong like I want to look the best that I want that I can and I've understood that this is the best that I can look right now and I'm at a point in my life that I need to focus on being healthy and I think that I decided that that's what I want to show. I want to show that you can be a bodybuilding.com athlete and not have a six pack year round. You know, you can be an athlete and worry about your health and not about what you look like. I'm not ripped as I was last time I was here. <laughs> I'm actually like 20 pounds heavier, but I feel fine. I feel great and I am proud of what I look like and I'm proud of who I am and I'm here for a reason and I'm here to show you guys that you don't need to have a six pack year round. I mean, I have one for like five seconds, but you know, being an athlete does not mean you are chiseled year round. Being an athlete does not mean that you are on prep year round. You can be an athlete and not be competing. You can be an athlete and not be super shredded. So remember that next time. An athlete is someone that performs well day in and day out, not only at the gym, but like in life, you know? I don't know how I got so deep in that right now, but <clears throat> sorry, there's something in my throat. I just want to let you guys know that I feel good. And if I look like a little chubbier today in my pictures, well, so be it. You know, I have to take care of my health first. And, and I want to be that person that, that shows you guys that that health is more important. It doesn't matter how big you are, how small you are. If you're not healthy, first and foremost, then it doesn't matter. So yeah, that's my little my little rant. Um, now I'm off to work. <laughs> See you soon. Hey, we're downstairs in the lobby, and everyone's here. And I was just talking to Christy, and I thought that I was like talking to myself because <laughs> the same thing. Hi, hi. <laughs> We are ridiculous. This is ridiculous. It's a good thing we're not going to be together today. We're going to be totally different um, shoots, but this is too fun. We're here. We're here, guys. And today, I'm with the guys today, Brandon and Brian, <laughs> and we're walking into Bodybuilding.com. And it's just me and the guys today. Story of my life. I was a top boy. Feels so good to be back. Goals. We are.
fresh today and I just did some deadlifts. I did some light deadlifts and some heavy deadlifts and now you guys are shooting more, more heavy deadlifts if you will. They've got three plates on I'm like, guys, Kala, don't make me feel so weak. But yeah, shooting. Um, I'll insert a picture of like or a little slide of how my deadlifts went. And yeah. These guys are taking ass though. So workout was a total bust. Okay, not total bust. We we did some stuff. But we did stuff. I was telling Christy that the time change is affecting me and the fact that I didn't get enough sleep the day before, like all that good stuff. But um, we're just sitting here in the bodybuilding.com gym. It's kind of empty. So it's just like, imagine this. Two girls in the corner talking about how we were here six months ago wanting to be a part of this company. Dreaming. Dreaming, wishing, praying, hoping, and here we not are. eating. <laughs> I know, we were yeah. And here we are, like, hanging out on the floor of the bodybuilding.com gym. And, and, go ahead. How easy it is to lose track of how far you've come, and I'm that way, and I think you're that way, where we always want more and better and to aim for higher, and we yeah. forget, like, how how awesome it is to actually like, be in the place of our dreams. Like, we literally are in the physical location of our dreams. Yeah. So we always have to. We always talk about like being present and being in the moment. And but sometimes, especially with society now, everybody wants to like think ahead. What can I accomplish next? What can I check off my to-do list? What can I dream about? What can I? Yeah, no, everybody. And we have to be grateful for the things that we once prayed for. Like we are right now. Christy and I are living our dream one of our dreams and we have to like be constantly reminded of that because sometimes we just kind of not that it gets comfortable but it becomes routine because now you have to live it and this is like pretty much our job now yeah. so we we're just talking about and it's nice to experience it with Christy because we both were kind of like the the up-and-comers I mean obviously she was more up and coming <laughs> but you know this year has just been a, a good year of like growth for both of us and um, yeah, it's just nice. So growth, physically, mentally, career-wise, all that. Stuff. Emotionally, but enough of the sappy stuff. In other news, can you guys see that? Oh, hold on. There. It's not even seven o'clock yet, and your girl just surpassed twelve thousand steps. Okay. Bam, bam. I guess I can have my sushi now. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, we're going to sushi at 7, and um, we're going to get picked up by one of our teammates at 6.45, and we're going to head over together. We're going in our gym gear because that's life. That's what we do. Everyone else is getting super fancy. We might, like, change into, like, a solid color to look a little bit more presentable, but our makeup is done. We're going to put our hair down, and we're good. So I'll probably see you guys at sushi. Bye! What's up guys? Just got back to the hotel room. It is 9.30 and I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna end the, this clip or this part of the vlog right here. I'm gonna make this a two day vlog. So I'm just gonna say good night and I will see you guys in the morning. Tomorrow we're shooting outside. So it's gonna be a little bit different than today. I'll take you guys through that too. So thanks for watching so far <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow. The next day. Good morning guys. It is like 3.30 in the morning and I can't sleep. I've been tossing and turning for like half an hour in bed and I just decided that I'm gonna go get a workout in. I'm gonna go downstairs, do some cardio and maybe some yoga. I brought my computer so I can follow along. Like the time difference has never really affected me this much. I don't, I mean, I'm assuming that's what it is. I'm like tired, my eyes are burning but I just can't sleep. And I'm feeling pretty full from last night. I had a lot of sushi, <laughs> like raw sushi throughout the day actually and um, I just feel bloated because of the salt um, so like my, you know when you wake up and your lips feel like bloated <laughs> like salt <laughs> I have lips of salt <laughs> right now yeah I'm gonna just try to sweat a little bit make up at five so oh also I got a book shipped here so uh, let's see if they have it because it it's supposed to come in yesterday so let's go check if they have it now like my outfit, I'm just wearing sweatpants. 
for my Arnold shirt and sweatpants. And now I can announce it because the video's on. I got my Team Optimum sweatpants on. That grub life. My camera's about to die, so I'm going to open this really fast so you guys can see the book. And then get to work. Yay! It's a nice hard cover. This is it. White Hot Truth. And it's clarity for keeping it real on your spiritual path from one secret to the other. And I learned about the author, Danielle Laporte, on Lewis House's podcast. If you haven't heard that podcast, listen to it. It's really, really good. And I was super intrigued, so I bought the book. Duh. I had a gift card for Amazon, and I was like, book, yes, let's do it. I'll see you guys soon. Workout done. I sprinted, sprinted a bunch, walked on an incline a bunch. And I tried doing some yoga, <laughs> didn't work. Ended up being like just a mini stretch. I just checked my steps and I'm like almost at 5,000. It's not even 5.30 yet. But, sorry, I still can't catch my breath. I'm, I'm gonna go shower and get ready for hair and makeup because I have a shoot today. And I feel so bloated, but it's okay. It's good that I was able to sweat most of the sodium out. I'm just gonna keep chugging the water and hoping for the best. And I'm tr trying to, because my hands are full. Oh, I opened a little rum steak. Let's close them. Success. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, guys. What? You've been up for a long time and you've already spoken to the camera. Why are you saying good morning? Update. Makeup is done. <laughs> Hair is done. Watch this. It's like cute, badass. Cute, badass. <laughs> Got some braids here, then got my curls still going, and um, it's around 7 o'clock right now, 7.05, and I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to go downstairs, probably make some oatmeal, or grab some oatmeal from the breakfast bar, um, and maybe some fruit, um, and that's it. Um, we are leaving today at 7.30. We are outside today. We're, we're shooting downtown Boise. Or in downtown Boise, um, but the weather does not look that great. Apparently, it's supposed to rain today, but fingers crossed that we get a good day. All right, that's it. Let's go get some breakfast. A few moments later. Okay, we're here. I gotta go this way because the light. Brian's shooting with us again. Christy's joining us. You're not shooting with us today. You are shooting with us today. No, she's lying. Which one? No, I don't know. I'm just drinking my coffee. We're just trying coffee. to wake up. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're shooting at these alleys, downtown Boise, huh. and we just came. What's, what? What? What was so funny? I, just, I don't know. I popped in here. Okay. Chocolate espresso bean. You want one? They're so good. They're so good. What to, do, what to do before a shoot? Call them dinosaur How, eggs. We can't even get some coffee before we start shooting. It's really cold out. Okay. It's cold. Then you. Cold, like, not cold at all. It's like 60. It's a little cold. But let's go shoot. We have Sarah today. Good morning. She runs bodybuilding.com Instagram sometimes. She, so yeah. she runs yeah. bodybuilding.com. <laughs> I, I actually run the whole thing. Yeah, I, I own bodybuilding.com. And then we got Tom. Well, hey. I'm sorry guys. I I got the best photo of the day. So <laughs> I apologize that I stole the show today, but I I, I do like have that. the That's best photo. photo of the day. <laughs> Hello, Yami's fans. I and recording this beautiful lady's photo shoot. So let's see what a badass she is. I keep the shooting has started and I feel pretty good. Um, I'm actually feeling really grateful that I don't feel as, as bloated as I did this morning. Um, because when I woke up, I was like, like I felt like my face was fluffy, but I pretty much got like a whole gallon in and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I already had a change of outfit. And we're still shooting in this beautiful alley. Um, for those of you who have never been to Boise, it's really freaking cute. Downtown Boise, I never would have expected it to look like this, but it's full of cute little restaurants, coffee shops, boutiques. Uh, I'm really excited to explore once we finish uh, shooting. And I have the day off tomorrow, so I'm going to explore some more. Okay, so I'll fill you guys in a little bit. Also, I'm really excited because I am posting my uh, optimum nutrition video and like um, announcement that I'm sponsored in like a couple hours and I'm like getting so nervous but I'm just so excited and so grateful to be part of that team oh, you guys can't even imagine but okay let's go back to shooting
just moved to a different location. <laughs> the best photographer ever. Um, we just moved to a different location and we are in this like garage that also has good feed in it. So it's really, really cool. Brian's shooting right now. And I actually just finished doing some like yoga-ish bendy poses on like a doorway, which is really, really, really freaking cool. Um, I'll insert some pictures here so you guys can see. But um, now I'm just waiting till I'm up next, so. I just had some like beef jerky because I have some snacks for us and it's like upsetting my stomach. Like I just have a huge cramp now. Like nothing is settling right um, during this trip. It sucks, but it is what it is. The show must go on. Just finished the first half of the day and everyone's starving. So you know what that means. It's time for lunch. Okay, lunch is over and we are now in the third location that's just um, the roof of a parking lot or a parking garage and had lunch. It was fantastic. I had like a chicken sandwich um, with like the pesto sauce on the side and some sweet potato fries. Um, and yeah, now I'm having my second coffee because I'm tired. But I feel good. Like I'm just like I feel a little tired, but I'm, I'm good. But yeah, so we're doing some shots up here and then we have about... It's 2.30, so we're, we're shooting until 5, so... See you soon. A few moments later... Okay, location number... I don't even know anymore. Four? Five? 5, 5 467. I'm not sure. But... They're shooting Brian right now. So and Brandon. And I got myself another coffee. But it's decaf. Swat the flavor. And I got some whipped cream, so I'm winning. Alright, that's my update for the day. Or, for now. See you guys soon. What's up guys? Finally back at the room. It's 5.30. We wrapped up about half an hour ago. We just were sitting in a little bit of traffic. But such a good day today. I enjoyed today very, very, very much so. We were able to get a little bit creative, do some bendy things, and just with a great group of people. So um, I'm very, very happy with how the pictures were turning out or turned out. Can't wait to see them. The plan for tonight, I'm going to go to dinner with Danielle and some of the athletes. So I think I'm just going to close the vlog off right here so I can upload it and everything for you guys tomorrow. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of the love and the support on the big news of me being the newest sponsored athlete with Optimum Nutrition. Um, you guys never cease to amaze me and all of your support does not go unnoticed so thank you thank you thank you so much I just can't wait to see what happens and where the company I can go together and grow together so I'm just very excited um, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this two-day vlog um, it wasn't too long and you got a little bit of an experience as to what it is to shoot for bodybuilding.com so thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next one.